remember, uh, you must keep your ability to learn whatever route you take. The world is just so fast moving. Um, I didn't start doing my PhD until I was in my 40s. So I kept my ability to learn. And the other is if you find that you are failing any of the actuarial exams, don't knock your head against a brick wall and carry on with them. There is more to life than studying. And if you start failing exams, what you are doing is learning to be successful at failing. So, very quickly, use the experience and the expertise that you have acquired here to do something else. Um, and the other thing is, those of you that do carry on to become actuaries, don't forget how to talk to people. Um, no, this is very, very serious. Um, I was given the same advice, and I won't tell you how many years ago. <laughs> um, but there is a reason for the actuary jokes. And I'm sure you've heard the one um, about the... Um, I can't remember... <laughs> Shannon, help me. What, what's the one where you look, and look at the other person's feet? Would you tell the difference between an accountant and an actuary? Mm -hmm. And actually, look at somebody else. No, actually, look at their own shoes. Yeah, it's, it's an, oh, between an extrovert actuary and an introvert actuary. The extrovert actuary looks at your shoes, the introvert looks at his own. And the reason is because the studying is tough. And you have got to be prepared to give up a couple of years of your social life if you want to qualify. Um, I always tell the story of how I used to get up at four o'clock in the morning and do two hours of studying before I went into work because I was determined to qualify quickly. And I qualified at the youngest age you could qualify at, you know, in an era when there weren't that many exemptions. Now it's, you know, Coming out of here, you've got a fast track to qualify. The reason I was able to get up so early is I shared a room with my sister, and when the alarm clock went off, she turned it off and pulled the bedclothes off of me because she didn't see why she should be woken up just for me to go back to sleep. And I'm still addicted to coffee from those early mornings. So, you know, there is a lot of work to becoming a qualified actor. And that's why I say, if you're not prepared to do that work, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It may well mean that you are more of an extro extrovert and suited to a more people-focused you know, role. That's not to say if you're people-focused, you shouldn't become an actuary, because some of the best-paid actuaries are more, you know, the salesy communicators. But you have got to think of whether you are prepared to put in the work in studying that is required. 